Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography. I'm Mark Wallace, joined by Sandra. We are on location today shooting some bikini glamour shots and I wanted to walk you through this specific setup. So right now, we have this beautiful swimming pool behind us, an amazing yard. The pool is amazing, but right now, it is way too bright. We have just a very, very bright sun in the sky. It's very directional, it's very hard. So we're about an hour away, maybe two hours away, from being able to shoot in this location. So we're saving that for a little while later. It is way too bright. We're in the middle of the day, the sun is just beating down. You can probably see my head is all bright red from the sun. And so what we wanna do is we don't wanna waste any time. So what I've done is I found this little cabana here that looks really, really nice. So what we're going to do is we're gonna to try to make this a really nice, beautiful, soft light portrait. So come on back here. Sandra's gonna sit right here on this uh, balcony, this um, rail here, which looks sort of nice. I'm going to shoot this with an 85 millimeter lens. And so I'm gonna to try to shoot this around F2, 2.8, maybe even all the way down to 1.2, depending on the light. But what we're getting is the light is changing. We've got clouds that are coming and going. So what we're trying to do is to make sure that Sandra has really nice soft light on her shoulder. So it's backlit. Right now it looks sort of soft, but in 10 seconds, it's gonna be really, really hard light. And so to fix that, we're going to diffuse that natural light and take it down a couple of stops using this diffusion panel. So I have an assistant right now, he's running the camera so he can't do this, but he's gonna hold this and he will put that between the sun and Sandra behind her. And then that's gonna take this light, it's gonna even it out. You can see the light just changed. You can see we got these hard uh, shadows on Sandra. So we'll be able to fix all of that. So the light, all natural light, we're going to diffuse that with that panel. As far as the camera goes, I'm shooting at F, I think two, 1.2, we'll see how shallow I can get. To do that, I have my camera set to AI servo constant focus because if I move a little bit at those wide open apertures, things are gonna fall out of focus. And I have my focus set to eye detect. And so it's gonna look at her face and try to focus on the eyes to make sure that's nice and crisp. And then what I'll be doing is I'm going to be shooting over here. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like to start with. So we don't have any diffusion, nothing is set up. And so I'm gonna take this, gotta turn my camera on and let's take a shot. And segundo, I see. And por favor, dos datos, the dedos, fingers, dos. See, my Spanish, really bad. Okay, when we look at these photos, you can see that those shadows are really nasty, no good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get Samwell to come out here. Without the diffusion, you can see this really hard light on Sandra's body. We have to fix that. So Samwell is here. Samwell, go ahead and put that diffusion panel up. You can see that what that's doing is it's softening the light on her shoulders and on her body. So go ahead and take that away again. And you can see, ah, that's no good. And then go ahead and put it back and much, much better. So because I'm using a long lens, you won't see Samwell in the photos, but what we will see is a nice, soft, diffused look. Now what I'm gonna do is shoot this. Let's just take a look. And I'm looking through here and we're shooting at F4. So I'm gonna open that up to about F2, we'll shoot that. And I'm at 800th of a second. I'm gonna go all the way to one four. Beautiful, beautiful. That is great, I might have to scooch back just a little bit. That is wonderful. I love it. Perfecta, perfecta, perfecta. Well, now that we have that dialed in, again, I am shooting at F1.4. I'm shooting with eye autofocus. We have the diffusion panel set up. I have all of this dialed in with my 85 millimeter lens. We're ready to shoot. There's not really much more to it than for us just to take a few photos. All right, Lisa, let's go. Lisa. All of these images were edited in Evoto AI for a deep dive into how I did all of my color correction, blemish removal, skin retouching, everything. Make sure you check out that video. I've included a link in the description of this video so you can see exactly how it was done.
Sandra, I think these are fantastic photos. You know, we had a really difficult lighting situation. We had really bright sunlight just streaming in, no clouds, really nasty shadows. And so what I always do in that situation is look for the shade. We didn't have any open shade, but we had this perfect cabana here where we were able to find a shady spot with a nice tree behind that. And so it's not gonna be overexposed. We used our diffusion panel to soften that light and shooting wide open, we were able to get some beautiful portraits. That's all there is to it. Look for shade, shoot wide open, work with a fantastic model, and you're gonna get wonderful results. Sandra, thank you so much for shooting with me today. If you wanna see more of Sandra's work, check out her Instagram. I put a link in the description of this video so you can see all of her wonderful stuff. Make sure you follow her. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want more deep, in-depth content, consider becoming a channel member. We've got hours and hours of video, uh, courses on photography. So take a look at our member-only videos and you'll see all the good stuff that you can be a part of if you join and be a part of the SNAP family. Thanks so much for joining us and I'll see you again next time.